So here we're given two parallel lines cut by a transversal. So this line is parallel to this line, and then this line cuts through both of those. So given that these two are parallel, we can find out what x is, which is what the question is asking for. So we need to find out what x is. So you've been taking notes on corresponding angles, alternate exterior angles, alternate interior angles. So which category would these two angles fall into? Here's an angle, this angle. If you say that these two are corresponding angles, you are correct. So we can say with good certainty that corresponding angles are congruent. So let's make note of that. Corresponding angles are congruent, meaning they have the same measure. Okay, that helps us a lot because we can say that for x minus 45 is equal to 3x minus 6. So let's lay that down. 4x minus 45 is equal to 3x minus 6 because they are corresponding angles. Now we can solve for x. Okay. So let's get x by itself. I'm going to move the x term to the left side by subtracting it away. So let's subtract away 3x, subtract 3x. 4x minus 3x is equal to x, and then minus 45 equals. See how this term cancels? Negative 6. Okay, so next step would be to get rid of the 45, which is what we're trying to do to get what x is. So what's the opposite of minus 45? Right, plus 45 to both sides. So this cancels out. x then is equal to negative 6 plus 45. You can think of it as 45 minus 6, okay. 39. Okay, so we can conclude that x is equal to 39.